Hello, Marvel fans! It's day four of my countdown to Christmas, and we're going to make another Spider-Verse ornament for the miniature tree. It's been a lot of fun seeing all of your suggestions, but the spider I picked for today is Miles Morales. As before, the instructions for making the actual ornament are in the first video of this series, and I'll just be explaining the painting process. As for the paint colors, I'll be using the exact same colors as yesterday, with Apple Barrel brand black as the base coat, and then bright red and white for the details. So while I'm painting, let's talk a little bit about Miles. Miles is originally from an alternate universe, and in his world, Peter Parker dies. So I guess Miles takes over as Spider-Man to continue his legacy. But then, after the events of Secret Wars, where all the alternate worlds were all smooshed up together, Miles is now on the main Earth, or is it Earth 616? Or is it Earth Prime now? I can't keep up. Anyway, the regular world now has both Peter Parker running around as Spider-Man and Miles using that name as well. That has to be confusing. You know, at first, I was annoyed that Miles was using the name Spider-Man. I can understand Miles using that name when he was on his own world and where Peter was dead, but after the collision of the worlds, it just doesn't seem right to continue using it when somebody else has had dibs on that name for years. But then I was reading a comic where Peter bumped into Miles, and they had a conversation about Miles using the name Spider-Man. Peter told Miles that he was fine with it, and that he appreciated that Miles asked his permission first. Okay, that does change things. If Miles asks permission, and Peter's fine with it, well, I guess I'm fine too with Miles using the name Spider-Man as well. I did think it was amusing, though, that Peter mentioned that Spider-Woman didn't even bother to talk to him before adopting her superhero name. I mean, that would be annoying, right? Imagine you're in his place, and let's say you have some completely random superpower. I don't know, like... Oh, you can shoot potatoes out of your fists, so we'll call you Potato Guy. Then some other person with just vaguely potato-related powers decides to call himself Potato Dude. That just wouldn't be cool, right? Uh, we better get back on topic. <laughs> now I have the bright red outline of the eyes painted, so I'm going to move on to the web lines on Miles' mask. Now, when I painted Peter's mask on day one, I used a small paintbrush called a spotter. But this time, I'm going to try something different and see how it works. I'm going to try to apply the lines with a needle to see if that gives me thinner lines. I gotta admit, this is annoying me already, because you have to keep dipping the needle in the paint over and over again. <sighs> but I've started this, so I guess let's just see it through and see how it goes. You know, I can't help but wonder though, if you have potato powers and you make french fries out of your own created potatoes and eat them, would that be considered cannibalism? I don't know. It's not like they'd be flesh potatoes. That would just be gross. They'd just be regular potatoes, but still, I think that'd be a little weird. I mean, nobody wants to eat themselves. Back to painting. Okay. So the needle worked okay for doing the tiny lines, but it felt like my hand was going to fall off just from gripping the tiny thing by the time I got done. Can't say I recommend it. I'm going to have to thin my lines anyway by applying some more black paint to the edges of the red line, so I guess I didn't really save myself any work after all. Then I'm going to use the white paint and apply two layers for the eyes. Another thing I wanted to talk about is, due to Secret Wars and all the Earths are now combined, right? That's why Miles is on the regular Earth, and why the alternate universe versions of the Squadron Supreme are on Earth as well. Well, the thing I don't understand, though, is how Spider-Gwen's Earth is still out there. And some of the characters from the Spider-Verse story have their own comic series now called Web Warriors, where they travel to other Earths. So which is it? Is there only one Earth now? Or are there many still? I'm beginning to think it's just whatever is convenient for Marvel at the time. If you can explain it to me, 
I'd appreciate hearing it in the comments down below because it's just confusing. I do like the Web Warriors comic series though. In the first few issues, there are a bunch of Electros from different realities all gathered together. My favorite though is the Dinosaur Electro. I wonder what the Spider-Man from that world is like. I'd imagine he'd have to be a small, agile dinosaur. Maybe a Velociraptor? And I picture Captain America as a bulky fighter. Maybe he would be a Triceratops. An Iron Man. Of course, he has to be an armored tank, right? Maybe an Ankylosaurus? I'd read a Dinoverse storyline, and I'd buy the toys for it too. But back to the project. Okay, I've let my paint completely dry, and now I'm going to apply a layer of Mod Podge to the whole thing to protect the paint. I let that dry, and I make a hook out of a jewelry making piece called a head pin. Using the pliers, I make a little twist, and then bend the very ends of the wire to make the hook. And here's Miles's completed ornament. I will be making at least one more ornament, so if you don't want to miss it, make sure you subscribe. And then we may do something different. I don't know for sure. I'm, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. And thank you for watching.